Welcome to the Topa Tech and Info session. My name's Lucy and I'll be one of your hosts this evening. I'm alongside my fellow colleague, Katie. We're here today to hopefully inform you on the innovative chemotherapy drug, Topotecan. This drug is commonly known as Topotecan, but you may know it as High Campton. This method of chemotherapy is a topo isomerase 1 inhibitor. Good, Katie. Do you know what that means? Kinda, I guess, but maybe we should go over it again. So as you may know, in order for cells to duplicate and divide, everything in the cell, including the DNA, needs to be replicated. There are many proteins and enzymes involved in this process, but topo isomerase 1 helps unwind the two DNA strands so that those proteins and enzymes can get in there and duplicate the DNA. Topo isomerase 1 cuts one of the strands to unwind the DNA and make it less tight. Without this enzyme, the DNA would be bound too tightly to read and duplicate. So basically, this is an enzyme that loosens DNA so it can be relaxed and duplicate to create more cells. Exactly. In cancer cells, there is nothing stopping them from dividing. This drug will take the place of the topo isomerase cut mark so that nothing else can be happened to the DNA. Because of this, the cell doesn't know how to fix it, so a signal is sent to stop the dividing process, and the cell ultimately gets thrown through apoptosis. Hey Lucy, what does apoptosis mean? I'm glad you asked. Apoptosis is programmed cell death. During the cell cycle, there are checkpoints to make sure that everything is going the way it should. If something is wrong, the cell can either repair it or die. If repair isn't an option for whatever reason, the cell will kill itself off. This drug makes sure that the cells will kill themselves off. These two images show an animated, explained version alongside a real-life visual of apoptosis. This drug has been approved for its most common use of treating ovarian cancer since 19. 96. Since then, the FDA has approved its uses for cervical and lung cancer as well. This is a second line agent for ovarian cancer, which means that if a patient, patient relapses or other drugs are not working, it is used. So this probably isn't your first time experience chemotherapy if this is your treatment. Each round of this drug is 21 days, with 3 to 5 days of treatment a week and normally you can see results within 10 rounds. The first five days of each round are consecutive treatment. Then the treatments get spread out more throughout the 21 day periods. Dosages are based off the BMI, past health issues, and current diagnosis and are determined by your doctor, though there is a normal dose for the oral regimen. This drug can be administered either orally through a pill or intravenously through IV. Like most chemotherapy drugs, it does have side effects. And the one that is most experienced in patients is nausea. In a study, it showed that 77% of the patients that were taking this drug had experienced nausea, along with hair loss, vomiting, diarrhea, unusual bruising and bleeding, extreme fatigue, and mouth sores, which have all been reported. However, while taking this treatment, please contact your doctor if you experience a high fever, shortness of breath, or uncontrollable bleeding. While taking this drug, it is important to remember that you should not take any blood thinners such as aspirin or drink alcohol. Also, you should avoid high traffic areas to lessen chances of infection. However, on the bright side, ibuprofen and other over-the-counter medications, which are approved by your doctor, may help alleviate these symptoms. Also, if you drink a minimum of three quarts of water a day, eat well, sleep in a mindful manner, and try to stay relaxed, it can help alleviate some of the symptoms. It's important to note that it takes months for this drug to work. It is not a quick process. The response rate of 19.6% may seem low, but it has been proven to work with a combination of other drugs. 
If you would like more information about this treatment, it is key to have an open conversation with your healthcare professional. Also, there are many support groups that are available for patients undergoing treatment, which can be found at the American Cancer Society website. If you would like to learn more, feel free to click any of the links below. As we've said before, ask your doctor for any more information, and be sure to stay positive. Thank you for joining us.